Welcome back. Let's get straight to your news headlines this morning and a major warning in the global fight against coronavirus with the World Health Organization saying there is no evidence those who recover from COVID-19 are immune from a second infection. Let's bring in our US correspondent Amelia Adams who is in a bit of a wind in New York for us this morning. Amelia, does this warning jeopardise America's hopes of returning back to normal? Well, I think it will certainly impact it, Lara, because so many states, including New York, are putting a great deal of weight on these antibody tests. In fact, New York's just rolled out the biggest antibody testing regime in the country. The idea being that if you have had COVID-19, whether you knew it or not, you have the antibodies and then you have the immunity. So you can't get it again and you can't pass it on. So community spread drops dramatically. That's what's known as that herd immunity. Then that informs governments just when they can give people the so-called immunity passport. So head out into the community, get back to work because you are safe. Now what the World Health Organization is saying is it's not the case. There's simply not the evidence that these antibody tests are accurate or reliable or that just because you've had it, you can't get it again. And it's really significant because a lot of states are beginning to reopen. Uh, Oklahoma, some businesses there, um, restaurants are open in Atlanta today. And in Georgia, it's proving really tricky. They've got uh, bowling alleys and, and hair salons open today. They've also got people protesting because the state hasn't reached its peak in coronavirus cases yet. And some people think it's too dangerous. We're small businessmen. We don't have any help. Rent still comes in. We if we don't cut hair, we don't get paid. Everybody's scared of basically. But we're also afraid that if we don't open, then the person down the street will. Yeah, it's a tricky one, Lara. Right now we would usually be standing by for President Trump's daily coronavirus briefing at the White House. The press there have just been informed that will not be happening at all, which is very unusual. And it comes after the president walked out of yesterday's briefing, taking no questions, which is unheard of for President Trump. And that, of course, follows the backlash from his suggestion that perhaps injecting disinfectant could be looked at as a possible treatment for COVID. So reports out of the White House today, Lara, are that perhaps the president will be cutting back somewhat uh, on those daily briefing appearances.